Good Wednesday morning, glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. We're almost through our October college visits, but we have November visits on the news today, so get ready to jot down some important dates. Remember, you do need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. On October 30th, the reps from Pikes Peak Community College have scheduled their visit with us. Seniors, listen up. October 30th is an important day if you are applying to a Colorado college or university. Submit your highly qualified and completed application on October 30th and save yourself some money because it is the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Remember, each institution will waive fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution's specific instructions as well as the Colorado Free Application Day FAQs. Check in with Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center for more details. November college visits kick off on November 6th when the University of Wyoming reps will be here. Luther College will be here the next day on November 7th. On November 13th, the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here, followed by the reps from UCCS on November 15th. Plan to spend some time after Thanksgiving with the Adam State Grizzlies, who are scheduled to visit with us on November 29th. Students, have you ever wondered what Discovery High School is all about, but were afraid to ask? Do you think that a smaller classroom environment might suit you better to be successful in school? Are you behind on credits and need to catch up? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you should attend the Discovery High School Information Session on Thursday, November 8th during advisory. Check in at the Counseling Center for your pass to attend this event. If you miss any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Good luck to all of you taking the ACT tomorrow. Remember, if you need to take this test but did not get yourself registered, go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. And now we're heading to the Sports Desk in here in Doolittle for our Gladiator Sports Update. We made it to Friday, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Congratulations to our NJ ROTC Corps of Cadets. They worked very hard and earned some great ratings on their AMI yesterday. If you were able to witness the pass and review last night, thank you for supporting our Corps of Cadets. Our Lady Glads volleyball team traveled to Mitchell last night and brought home another W for their season record. The ladies are headed to Pueblo tomorrow for a tournament and then regionals start next week. Good luck, ladies. In cross country news, our team is preparing for their state meet this weekend. Best of luck to all state qualifiers as they run towards some strong finishes and medal placements. In football news, our Gladiators are on the road this Friday at Pueblo West for a game at 7 p.m. Come out and support your Gladiator football team and help them add another W to the books before the season ends. Our mighty Gladiator marching band will be perfecting its performance this week in preparation for the state quarterfinals on November 2nd. We know our band will make us proud. In forensics news, the team competed in the Halloween Congress meet at Pueblo West last night and here are some of their placements. The next competition is this Saturday at St. Mary's High School for a novice tournament. Good luck, Glads! Ladies, the last open gym for basketball will be on Monday, October 29th. The season starts soon, so make the most out of these times. Speaking of winter season sports, that's basketball, wrestling, and girls swimming. Those practices start on November 12th, and that means you will need your yellow participation card if you're going to try out and then play. Pick up your sports packet with your physical form in the main office and then return it to the main office to receive your yellow participation card. Yellow cards will be available in the main office for winter sports starting on Monday. Monday, October 29th. Do not wait until the last minute to turn in your paperwork and get your card because if you do, you will not be allowed to participate until you have this important document. And speaking of winter sports, all students interested in wrestling for WHS this year, Coach Walker is holding his informational meeting on Tuesday, October 30th at lunch in room 124. If you would like to try out for the team but cannot attend this meeting, please see Coach Walker in the Counseling Center. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this weekend. Back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for the update, Kieran. The Drama Department proudly presents Dracula, the Fall Play. Show dates are November 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are three bucks for students and five dollars for adults. Come out and support your Gladiators. actors. And while we're getting dramatic, the Drama Department has announced the Spring Musical, and it's, drum roll please, Little Women. Auditions will be held on November 13th and 14th after school in the auditorium. Sign-up sheets are posted outside the theater and choir room. When you sign up, you should select a monologue and a song 
song from the list provided to prepare for your audition. If you have any questions or need more details, please see Miss Caps or Mr. Larson. Hey Glads, your pink federal aid forms were due on October 11th, and if you haven't turned them in, what are you waiting for? Our attendant secretaries, Mrs. Kawakami and Mrs. Malone, are waiting on you to return your signed copies. Remember, these forms are critical to our school's funding. Bring your completed form to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. And now, here's our lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Monday. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Friday, everybody. I have Alyssa here with me today, and she's going to tell you what we're having for lunch. Chicken enchilada casserole. Yeah, <laughs> and on Monday, we're going to have chicken sandwich. So it's a menu change on Monday, so <sighs> we'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, as the second quarter gets started, are you struggling in a class? Need help writing better papers? Or maybe, just maybe, you need to brush up your study skills for tests? Then you should make an appointment for a tutoring session. NHS students are offering tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for a time and pick up a pass. Finish the semester stronger than you started. See you then. Speaking of NHS, senior NHS members, you will have a meeting today in the library at lunch. See Mrs. HK if you are unable to attend. Glads. You still have time to order your yearbook before prices go up in November. You can order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55. Students, the library is holding a scary book giveaway every day until the end of the month. It's super easy to enter. Just check out a book, any book, and you'll be entered to win a prize. We have a new group on campus called PIVA, Positivity and Visual Arts, and they're selling ghost pops for Halloween. The 50 cents will get you a small treat for you, your boo, or your crew. Get yours at lunch starting on Monday through Halloween. Students, are you the king or queen of useless knowledge? On Halloween, your skill set might win you a prize. Join Freshman Council on Halloween in the small gym to kick off your Halloween fun on Wednesday, October 31st. It's only $1 to enter your three-person team, and prizes will be awarded to the top three teams. And last but not least, the news you have all been waiting for. Our admin team has approved the wearing of costumes on Halloween. Waha! <laughs> but listen up, before you show up in that skippy nurse's outfit or scary Chucky mask, there are a few rules we have to follow. First, we cannot wear masks on our beautiful faces. Second, costumes must be dress code appropriate, so leave those skimpy outfits at home. And lastly, you must be able to participate in class activities like PE, shop classes, ROTC, and labs. You can't use your costume as an excuse not to participate. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.